What you cooking, Mom? Fucking cut. Now I'm gonna you go buy. Will. No, I'm gonna go purchase one. That's the problem. This this ain't for me. Well, I was like, you no. Know, the background is mom and dad was addicted to crack cocaine. Okay, right. Hi, how are you? Welcome to another episode of the Doc Holiday Show, where we love to uplift black men, black women, black team, black child, black royalty that magically melanates. Today, we want to talk about the Emancipation Proclamation. Emancipation Proclamation. Free the slave. Freed the slaves in it, bro. Hey, Cass. Yeah. Hey, man, right? Yeah. And, and, that was, uh, yeah. and that what we were told? Yeah, that's what we were told. But, but. But. Yeah, it's a big but. So, well, we're going well, we gonna, we gonna to talk about the Emancipation Proclamation because we were told it freed the slaves, right? Mm-hmm. I mean, I'm, you know, I'm sorry. Not slaves. Free the magically melanated who were enslaved because yeah. we weren't, our ancestors weren't slaves. They were enslaved. They weren't slaves. Right. Slaved and enslaved are two different things. Right, they were enslaved. So, Emancipation Proclamation, free the slave. Hey, hey, Abe Ham, Brent. hey, man, all this time, bro, I've I been appreciate you, dog. Appreciate you, dog. <laughs> appreciate you, dog. <laughs> and before I read up on you, dog. Mm-hmm. Before I read. So, let's break down the Emancipation Proclamation. So, it was an executive order issued by Abraham Lincoln on January 1st, 1863. During the third year of the Civil War, it declared that all persons held as slaves within the rebellious state shall be free. Is there anything that you catch in that? Catch what I just said? It says shall be free. Shall be free. Uh-huh. But what's, what's, what's first of all, executive orders are, is not law. Really? Yeah, executive orders. No, it's not a law. Laws have to be passed. Like slavery was legal. So you can pass an executive order all you want to, so, but individual oh, states you, can be like, man, forget your executive oh, yeah, you order. Have to, you, the states have to vote. For yeah, yeah. So executive order, president be like, I'm going to sign this executive order, and the states can be like, man, damn your executive order, dog. You know what? Okay. You are you are not lying because, man, Texas and when, uh, what's the dude's name? Yeah, with Biden come in. They be like, whatever, bro. Say what you want to say. Yeah. Because basically the president was, was set up to, to oversee the new corporation of the United States that wanted to come together and start a business. Because up until that point, the states were individual countries. That's why everybody had a National Guard. Most, most people don't understand no. that we have, this is a business. It's a business. This is a big United business. United States is a corporation. Yeah. So that's why you have the Tennessee National Guard, yeah. Kentucky National Guard. Each state has a National Guard. Why do you think that is? To protect it from the other state that may try to come over and take it. Like Tennessee, National Guard protecting it from Kentucky, Mississippi, Arkansas, Mm -hmm. any state that surrounded it or any state that want to try to come through and say, you know what, man, we want to go try to take Tennessee. That's why. So your National Guard is protecting that state from the other states that might want to get with you. So these these people just send back like, you know what, we want our state to be bigger. The hell with this. We going to. Yeah, that's how you do it. You gobble up other states. So every that's why it's still the National what you think? A na- national means nation, right? So Tennessee's still a nation. Mm-hmm. It's, these are each states are each individual nations, but they say, you know what? Let's come together, bro. Damn, bro, we fighting. Let's start a United States. Let's be united. So the president is the president of those individual nations. Mm-hmm. United States Corporation. Let's do business together. That's why you got federal laws and you got state laws. Federal laws only, you know, apply like if you, you know, you take like if you rob a bank, you no, know, it's a federal law because money is that's their federal property. Mm-hmm. You mess with a post office, it's a federal law because the United States own that. Okay. The states don't. That's why you sell dope. You bring it across state lines from state to state. Now that's a federal law because you're going from one state to the next. Right, yeah, but anyway, you know what I'm saying? Executive <laughs> orders. Yes, yeah, another, it's another, yeah, you said that's another, it's another yeah. show. <laughs> but uh, executive order, what happens is that the reason, the, the key word to this, it declared that all persons held as slaves within the rebellious states mm-hmm. shall be deemed free. Rebe- oh, you said rebellious. rebellious states. Oh, that's the key word. Because you had the North and the South. Okay, I, I, I ain't hear that. Rebellious, rebellious states, rebellious states yeah. shall be free. Now, I'm going to tell y'all now, y'all keep fighting. I'm going to free them. Change only within y'all, because y'all the ones that's hard here want to fight back south. The Union and the Confederacy. So if you was in the Confederacy, yeah. those states, I'm going I'm to free, free your slaves now. 
Not the ones over, up here in the union, though, but don't shh, shh, be quiet. Shh, don't tell nobody. That's cold blood, and then they never. I know, I know. Then, not, then, not then, then, then they had, had slaves. We're going to go up north. You go, they like, come on, please. Yeah. You slave your ass. <laughs> you go, come on, come on. But anyway, so it only applied to states that had seceded from the United States. This was South Carolina, Mississippi, Florida, Alabama, Georgia, Louisiana, and Texas. Virginia, Arkansas, Tennessee, where we live in North Carolina, were threatening to secede. These 11 states formed the Confederate States of America. So his Emancipation Proclamation was like, look, if y'all don't keep, if y'all don't stop fighting us, I'm a free, we're gonna free the slaves in y'all states. Just in y'all, just in y'all states now. Because the Emancipation Proclamation made slavery illegal in these 11 states, but it was still legal to have slaves in the border states, which were Missouri, Kentucky, Maryland, and Delaware. The border states were on the border of the North and the South. So you, they can still have their slaves now. <laughs> but the ones that's fighting us? How you going? This, this, that doesn't lot, even make sense, man. I, bruh, it don't make sense that we ain't read this. Exactly. We ain't going to be taught it now. You sitting back going to tell people, and the people in Mississippi are like, you going to tell me I can't have slaves, but mm -hmm. these other states can have slaves. Yeah, but that's, that's why I say it was just an executive order. It was just an order. I'm going to do it now. But this is the thing, man. So the Emancipation Proclamation didn't end slavery. Southern states that were part of the Confederacy but were under Northern Union control could still have slaves. So if you had states and areas in the South, mm -hmm. in the Confederate territory, but if the Union controlled them, they could still have their slaves. Now, you could be in Mississippi or, or another part of that. you like, no, 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 this part of Mississippi is, I'm, with, I'm rolling with y'all, Union. Oh, you can keep your slaves then. Cold Only the rebellious blood. states. But that I'm pretty sure it's hard as hell to find any. I'm sorry, I don't mean to talk about you, Mississippi, but everybody <laughs> in Mississippi like, no, we ain't part of the union at all. Yeah. They were rolling tight with that. Nope. Yeah. So the Emancipation Proclamation success was contingent upon the union winning. It had to win, though. Mm -hmm. If the union, the North, lost, slavery would still be legal, but it still is legal. Punishment for a crime. Oh, yeah, you are correct. Slavery is not abolished. It's just you can still use it as punishment for a crime. Yeah, so, so, like, we got free, y'all. We're going to start making up crimes to lock y'all up, mm -hmm. which is they did. It's called the Black Codes. We did a show. Yeah, hey, did we, I do a show on that? Yes, yes, you did a show on that. I did one of these shows on that? Yeah, yeah you did a show. Or was it on Instagram? Is this show? Was Might have been Inst Black no, Codes. No, it, it was. It was yeah, this joint. It's Black Codes. That's, that's that's, yeah, yeah. But what Abe Lincoln did was sign the Emancipation Proclamation, which made black men. Sign up and fight for the North. Hundreds of thousands of black men. Now, the thing about the Emancipation Proclamation now, January 1st, 1863, right? That's when mm -hmm. he said it, the executive order. He issued it twice, though. Twice? Yeah, Emancipation Proclamation was actually issued twice. The first one came on September 22nd, 1862. What Abraham Lincoln was doing was giving the Confederate states the one who was rebellious. Mm-hmm. He was giving them time to stop fighting them. Because he said, now, if y'all stop fight us, if y'all stop fighting us and, and rejoin us, before January 1st, 1863, I won't issue this proclamation, which means y'all can still have your slaves. But if y'all want to keep fighting us, I'm going to issue this pro proclamation. So the first one he issued, September 26, 1862, he gave him a warning. Y'all want to keep being rebellious and hard-headed and fighting against us? If you do, I'm going to free the slaves in y'all states now. Up here, we're going to still keep them. And then the border states, they still want to have their slaves. And even within y'all territory, people who, states and areas that are, are loyal to the Union, still going to be able to have their slaves, and I'm going to free y'all's. So you know what the South said? The, ah, we good, bro. Let's keep scrapping. They kept scrapping. They kept fighting. Now, even though the Emancipation Proclamation was officially ordered January 1st, 1863, enslaved magically, magically melanated one free right away. Because, you know, it's an executive order. Right. That's why we get Juneteenth, because slaves in Texas, Galveston, by the fact, didn't find out until two years after it was signed. Then they were saying it was uh, Juneteenth. 
It's it, it's not for all of us around the world. It's for it's it's yeah. for the people in Galveston, Texas, man. Yeah. They celebrated that because that's when they were like, hold on, the union finally got there, marched in the town. They were like, hold on, bro. That was in 1865. They got there to take control of the state. They were like, hold on, bro. You know slavery ended, right? They're like, huh? Yeah, man, he ended that joint two years ago. He signed the order because they didn't. They ain't got the. They ain't got the internet. Mm. Mail coming in and give me that mail. Get out of here. Rip it up. Or come in on horseback. What you got? Give me that mail bag. What, what what news you got? No, nah, bro. So that was Juneteenth. Is. It's for the it's for the magically melanated in Galveston, Texas. They the ones who celebrate Juneteenth because that's when they found out two years later. Right. But anyway, it wasn't a law. Congress didn't pass the law into until 1865. Two years later. Now the Union's desire to end the Civil War was not about ending slavery or helping magically melanated. Now, now when the Civil War started, blacks magically melanated living in the North in Union states were begging to join the war. Because in them, they're like, man, well, let me go help my people who still down south become free. Let me fight with y'all. So guess what they were told? Boy, this is a white man's war. I mean, this is, quote, boy, this is a white man's war. A group of black men in Boston passed a resolution seeking enlistment, but it didn't work. In September 1862, Magically melanated volunteers in Cincinnati started a local unit. They started local units called local units called units called home guards in hopes of joining the U.S. Army. But the local police chief told them, "We won't." I mean, it's a quote now. It's a quote. You can look it up now. It's a quote. We want you damn niggas to keep out of this. This is a white man's war. Now, the governor of Ohio at the time, David Todd, is quoted as saying. This is a white man's government, and white men are able to defend and protect it. Now, much of the North didn't want black men fighting with them. Until. Until. That ass started getting beat. Yeah. That ass started getting beat pretty bad. Yeah. So the Union tried to enlist free black men and slaves in loyal Union states now. So they still have slaves now. Mm -hmm. In loyal Union states. In 1863, there was a program with slave owners could receive up to $300 for each slave allowed to enlist in the army. So the, Are you serious? The enslaved person not getting anything now. The owner the of the owner enslaved person getting, gets, yeah, $300. So basically, like, these people say, okay, just rent me your slaves. Yeah, well, rent, yeah. you rent you out. Because in slavery, they rented us out a lot of times. Remember the show we did? No, we, we ain't, Yeah, we did. We added it. No, we ain't yeah, added it. We have, you are right. But it may add, you know, this is, I'm just being recorded, so this is going to add some other time. So hopefully... Slavery and big business, they'll tell you that the railroad companies, a lot of these big companies that's still around now. Right. Tiffany and Company, Brooks, yeah, they rented, they rented slaves to come work for them. Yeah. You rented them out. I remember this show, yeah. That's, yeah. that's why. Yeah. So the Emancipation Proclamation goes into effect January 1st, 1863. Congress didn't officially outlaw slavery until it passed the 13th Amendment in January of 1865. But slavery is still it's still legal for you know, punishment of crime. So executive orders is just an executive order. The president can sign them all day. Yeah, that's, that's basically like. Not law, bro. Congress makes the laws. You are correct. Congress and Senate. Congress, yeah. they, they make the laws. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? President signing, that's an executive order. It just looks good. Mm -hmm. And states can be like, mm, I might go along with it. I just may not go along with it. Because it's still on them. Mm -hmm. You got state rights. Yeah. Federal rights, state laws, federal laws. It's funny because I always used to watch when they came in, when Biden came in, he was signing all the executive orders, and folks were making it such a hoopla about he signed this many executive orders, and and other presidents didn't do this. And I'm like, sounds good, don't it? Yeah, because the fact of the matter remains, you got the United States, and it's almost like NBA and NFL. You got your teams. Each team run their own little thing. They right. just got a commissioner or whatever. Be like, okay, set some rules for the overall good of it, but we're going to do our own thing, bro. Yeah, because each team does their own thing. They do thing. their own thing. Yeah. It's the United States, is, it's a team. Yeah. Which you can fight the other teams around the world. Just like Texas always bucking. Like That's why they said they're the Lone Star. Yeah. So if, for the longest, Texas be like, y'all the Lone Star, huh? So, so y'all going to stand alone, right? So you got all these states around you that's a part of the United States. Yeah. And it's just you. All right, Texas, I know you got the biggest land mass in the Americas. But they ain't bigger than the state. whole America. 
All of us come at you now. Okay, Lone Star, stay Lone Star if you want to. Because we can't invade you now. So you yeah. got to make a choice. Yeah. Want to be Lone Star? We, we have, how many states is it? I don't know, not 50 now? 51? But at the 50. time, it, it wasn't that many. You know, it wasn't that many. Yeah, you see, to, I'm, I'm talking about now. Now, right? yeah. Yeah, yeah. So it's like, oh, you want long? That's, that's why now that, you know, states be like, we're going to secede from the United Go ahead, bro. Be like, go ahead. Because all the, all the United States, all these states have put their money together and built this big military. So go ahead mm-hmm. on be your only country within the United States if you want to. Mm-hmm. Oh, so you, now you're an enemy. Yes. Coming at you. Yeah. So yeah, that's how that works, bro. But yeah, it, the Emancipation Proclamation was this twice, and it only frees slaves and the slave enslaved magically melanated in the rebellious states. <laughs> that add some. You had to add an S on. <laughs> yeah. Like and subscribe to Doc Holiday Show and share. Also, you cash out, support the show. Yeah, support the show. We're trying to grow this thing, man. You know what I'm saying? You know, I appreciate you all for watching. But yeah, the Emancipation Proclamation. Ain't probably, probably ain't what you thought, huh? It still was a good idea. It was the right idea. And if you have any questions or uh, if you want to ask Doc Holiday, put them in the comments below. Put them in the comments below. Yeah. Put them in the comments below. But anyway, that's going to do it for another great episode of the Doc Holiday Show where we love the, uh, the black man, black woman, black teen, black child, black royalty, the magically melanated. Till next time we out.